Hello and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain and I am your guide to wisdom. Thank you for joining us for our seven day a week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. By consuming these daily nuggets of wisdom, these principles will help you on your quest to become healthy, wealthy, and wise as we trek through life together. This is day 47 of our trek, and we will continue on the next few days on our trails to look at how changing our thinking can dramatically change our lives. We are recording from our podcast studios at Home 2 in Charlotte, North Carolina, and after another very full workload today, it is good to be able to reflect on some words of wisdom to help us to refocus our priorities. One of the purposes of Wisdom Trek is to provide mentoring to others. In order to gain wisdom, we need to be receptive to receive it and ready to apply it to our lives. It is through the proper thinking that we are able to become wise and successful. As we change our thinking, our choices in life will change, which will in turn change our lives. So far, we have visited waypoints 1 through 5, so we're making good progress on our trek this week. Today, we will search for waypoints number 6 and 7 on our expedition, so let's see what advice that we can gain so that we can continue to change our lives. Now, if you've missed any of the past five days of podcasts, Please go back and listen to those or to read our daily journal entries. This will enable you to be equipped with all the information that we've been discussing about changing our thinking, which in turn will change our lives. When we ended our podcast yesterday, I asked you to consider the two more questions. From waypoint number four, am I building a solid foundation on facts so that I can think with certainty? And from waypoint number five, am I implementing strategic plans that give me the direction for today and increase my potential for success tomorrow? Now, I hope that you'll take time each day to reflect on these questions. This will be crucial on gaining wisdom, as Proverbs chapter 2, 2 through 5 says, Tune your ears to wisdom and concentrate on understanding. Cry out for insight and ask for understanding. Search for them as you would for silver. Seek for them like hidden treasures. Then you will understand what it means to fear the Lord, and you'll gain knowledge of God. As we continue on our trail of life this beautiful day, enjoy the sunshine, the soft mountain breeze, the fragrance of summer after a brief shower. And as we visualize this, we soon come upon the sixth waypoint, and we are instructed to explore possibility thinking. To be a possibility thinker, you must believe that a solution exists to even the most difficult problems. When you believe that something challenging can be done and then succeed at doing it, that is when doors open and others are attracted to you. When you make things happen, it will inspire others to create possibilities also. When you approach a difficult task, you have the potential to attain exceptional results. When you embrace possibility thinking, believe in what you're doing and let it energize you. There are six different ways to stimulate possibility thinking. First, do not focus on what is impossible. Instead, focus on the solution to your problems or challenges in any situation. Second, stay away from the experts. Now, this might seem counterintuitive to having a mentor, but many an expert may see what could go wrong and try to discourage your dreams. Now, it's good to take wise advice, but be leery of those who are self-proclaimed experts. Third, look for possibilities in every situation. Now, this is opposite from the first point. Regardless of the circumstances, try to look for positive possibilities. Fourth, dream bigger. To encourage possibility thinking, try to stretch yourself outside your comfort zone. Bigger dreams that are realistic will force you to grow. Fifth, question the status quo. It is impossible to stay the same and also improve. Greater possibilities mean that you do not have to settle for the status quo. And sixth, find inspiration from great achievers. One way for you to learn more about possibility thinking is to study those who have achieved greatly. Anyone who has already achieved a level of wisdom and success also has a story of failure and tragedy that you can learn from. If you embrace possibility thinking, your dreams will go from molehill to mountain size. And because you believe in possibilities, you put yourself into position to achieve those. So the question for waypoint number six is, Am I unleashing the enthusiasm of possibility thinking even to seemingly impossible problems? Now that we've explored number six, possibility thinking, let us continue on to our next waypoint, number seven, and that is to learn from reflective thinking. Today's fast-paced society does not encourage us to reflective thinking, but this practice can help you to learn from past experiences and identify what should stay the same and what should change. There are many benefits associated with reflective thinking, It provides you with true perspective, lends emotional integrity to thinking, clarifies your situation, 
and increases your confidence in decision making. One of the most important aspects of reflective thinking is your ability to transform your experience into insight. There are five ways to improve your ability to think in a reflective manner. First, set aside time for reflection. If you do not dedicate time for reflective thinking, it is unlikely that you will do it. Second, avoid distractions. Reflection requires that you find a place that provides solitude and an escape from your interruptions. Third, regularly review your calendar or journal. Although calendars are useful for planning tools, they are also good to use during reflective thinking to show how your activities align with your priorities. Fourth, ask the right questions. Much of the value that is derived from reflective thinking comes from when you ask prudent questions. And fifth, cement learning through action. You must be intentional about putting your thoughts into action. Once you learn something new, take action on what you've learned so that it will benefit you and help in the process of changing your life. So our question for waypoint number seven. Am I regularly visiting the past to gain true perspective and think with understanding? Time for reflective thinking can be a real game changer in your life. Yet few of us really take time to truly reflect. Now one area that we should reflect on more is the goodness of our Creator. There are three verses in the 119th chapter of the book of Psalms that encourages us to do so. The first is verse number 5, O, oh, that my actions would consistently reflect your decrees. Verse number 15, I will study your commandments and reflect on your ways. In verse 55, I reflect at night on who you are, O Lord. Therefore, I obey your instructions. We need to explore the possibilities in life and to dream big, but we also need time to reflect on what are the most important things of our life. This type of thinking needs to become habits in our life. This will allow us to grow wise and be successful. For me, being grounded in God's Word is also foundational. I should always put into practice what I am learning each day. As Christ's half-brother James put it in his letter, in chapter 1, verse 22, Don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says. Otherwise, you are only fooling yourself. It might also be said that action is the foundational key to all success. What is your guide, friend, mentor, and fellow sojourner? Let me know how I can help you with these statements on thinking to become habits in your life. Well, that will finish our podcast for today. If you've missed any of our previous episodes, especially this week, please check out Wisdom Trek at iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, or at wisdom-trek.com. Tomorrow, we will continue our trek investigating more waypoints to learn how changing our thinking can literally change our lives. So please join us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, creating a legacy. And if you really enjoy these daily doses of wisdom, these little nuggets that we consume, I encourage each of you to help us in the following five ways. Number one, please leave your name and email address on our website at the bottom right-hand corner of any page in the sidebar. This will allow us to update you with any special information about Wisdom Trek. Two, leave us feedback about the podcast at wisdom-trek.com so we can improve. Three, please subscribe on iTunes or Stitcher. Four, leave us a rating so that we can gain exposure for our Wisdom Trek. And five, share with your family and friends to journey with us on our Wisdom Trek. I thank you for allowing me to serve you each day like this. I do count it a privilege. The journal for this podcast can be found at wisdom-trek.com where you'll also find pictures, tweetable quotes, wisdom nuggets, and free resources. As we take this trek together, let us always live abundantly or fully, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy the journey, and create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.